fourth graders. Um, it's Mrs. Pierce. I'm going to do lesson 12.8, which is on page 685. This one's called Units of Time. A lot of this should be review for you from second and third grade. Um, the thing that might not be review is the second hand. I'm not sure. I can't remember what you learned in those two grades. I forgot to look it up. But um, either way, it's some review um, with some converting in there, which we're going to do. There's going to be time conversions. So the last several days that we've been talking about um, measuring length and weight and volume and those kind of things. But um, to measure time, we used a clock. So we're still measuring today. We're just measuring a different thing. We're measuring time instead. Um, the analog clock, the analog just means it's the circle clock. It's not a digital clock. The analog clock below has an hour hand, a minute hand, and a second hand to measure time. The time is 43012. So if you look at the clock, the hour hand shows that it's between 4 and 5, so it's as 4 o'clock. Um, the 30 shows it's 30 minutes because the minute hand is on the, the 6, which means it's at 30. And then the 12 is the seconds. So the, the second hand reads just like the minute hand does. It doesn't read the numbers, it reads it by fives. So with the second hand, it's the red one, it's pointing to between the two and the three. So that would be five, 10, and one, two spaces after that. So that would be 12. So are there more minutes and, or seconds in an hour? There's definitely more seconds, obviously, in an hour because you have 60 seconds for every minute. And there's 60 minutes in an hour. So there's definitely more seconds. Okay, so there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. The clocks show how far the hands move for each length of time. So if you start your time at three o'clock, which is this clock right here, the minute hand's on the 12, which means it's at zero. And then the hour hand's on the three, so it's three o'clock. One second elapses, which means that the second hand ticks by one, one spot. So the time is now three hours, zero minutes, and one second. One minute or 60 seconds elapses. The second hand has made a full turn clockwise. So this um, red line has gone all the way around and gone back to 12. Um, the second hand has made a full turn clockwise. The time is now three hours, one minute, because 60 seconds went by, and zero seconds. One hour or 60 minutes elapses. The minute hand has made a full turn clockwise. It's all the way around as well. So the time is now four o'clock because 60 minutes have gone by. So we added 60 minutes, which is an hour, to the three hours that were already there. How does the size of an hour compare to the size of a second? There are 60 minutes in an hour. There are 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 minutes times 60 seconds is, six times six is 36 with one, two zeros. So there are 3,600 seconds in a, an hour. So that's what we're going to put down here too. So one hour is 3,600 times as long as one second. All right, page 686 right now. Get a drink of water here. All right, example two. <clears throat> Again, I apologize, I'm still kind of froggy from my allergies. We're gonna compare some measurements today. So the same ideas apply as before. Even though we're measuring time and we're using a different system, we cannot compare it unless the time is in the same um, units. So if you have hours and minutes, you probably wanna have everything into minutes first um, so you can compare more fairly. So shout out to Larissa, she's in the problem today. That's pretty cool. Larissa spent two hours on her science project. Cliff spent 200 minutes on his science project. Who spent more time? Make a table that relates hours and minutes. So they did the first one for you. One hour is 60 minutes, so that means that two hours would be 60 times two. Um, 
2 times 6 is 12 with one zero. So that's 120 minutes. And then 60 times 3 gives me how many minutes are in 3 hours. 6 times 3 is 18 with one zero. So compare 2 hours and 200 minutes. The 200 minutes stays the same because we're conver converting everything to minutes. 2 hours is the same thing as 120 minutes. So we know the two hours goes with Larissa, and this one goes with Cliff. So it looks like Cliff spent more time on his project because he had more minutes than she did. Two hours is greater than 200 minutes. No, less than, sorry, less than, yeah. Just two hours is 120 minutes. So um, Cliff spent more time than Larissa on the science project. This problem down here um, does days in a week, which is also a measurement of time. Um, it's not using a clock or anything like that, but it's also, it is time. It time you know how much time goes by so um, this one says use some colored pencils so brought some down here with me um, the number line shows the relationship between days and weeks um, use a color pencil to shade one week on the number line so one whole week I'm gonna shade red One week. Weeks are divided into days. So there are seven days in each one. So use a different color to shade one day on the number line. So one day would be blue. Compare the size of one week to the size of one day. There are seven days in one week. So one week is seven times as long as one day. So again today, they give you all the conversions up here. Um, these are conversions you really should just know just to survive life on this planet because um, these are just things you need to know. Um, most of these you should know already, um, but in, in case you don't, you need to memorize these for sure. Um, the only one that is sometimes hard to memorize is the 52 weeks, but you should know that there are 12 months in a year Seven days in a week, 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour, and 60 seconds in one minute. But they're there for you in case you need that reference. So this is page 687. All right, compare the length of a year to the length of a month. So it's very similar to the one we just did, except it's doing years and months. So one whole year is divided into 12 months. So one year is 12 times as long as one month. So think of the one year as being the whole fraction strip and each month as being a 12th size piece of that fraction. All right, so these conversions, you're gonna use the conversion tables up there, but you can also use them if you have them in your head. So two minutes to seconds, I'm turning everything into seconds. So I know there are 60 seconds in a minute, so I'm gonna do two times 60 to figure out how many seconds are on this side. Um, so 2 times 60, 6 times 2 is 12, and then 1, 0, put it on there, so it would be 120 seconds. 4 years equals blank months. I know that for every year I need to multiply with 12 because there are 12 months in a year. And that is 48. So there are 48 months in 4 years. And I'm not changing how long a time that was. It's the same amount of time. It's just written in different units. Three minutes to seconds. So there are 60 seconds in a minute. So that would be three times 60. Which means six times three is 18 with one zero. So there's 180 seconds. 
four hours equals minutes. So there are 60 minutes in an hour. Six times four is 24 with one zero. So that'd be 240 minutes. So I want you to pause the video here and I want you to do six and seven on your own. These ones are comparing ones, just like we've done in other videos um, and other lessons. You need to make sure that they are the same unit before you can compare them. So pause the video here. And here's your answer. Um, three years and 35 months, so I gotta turn that into months. Three times 12 is 36, so 36 months compared to 35 months. That one's bigger. Two days and 40 hours. So I'm gonna do, each day has 24 hours. So I'm gonna do two times 24, which is 48. So 48 hours compared to 40 hours. This one's bigger. All right, so this is where this kind of thing comes in handy because this is a conversion you'll use all the time. I mean, more than even the measurement conversions. We use this all the time with times and days and all of that. You'll use that regardless of what career you have. So that's why these application problems are super important because they actually show you how you use this stuff every day. Damien has lived in the apartment building for five years. Ken has lived there for 250 weeks. Who has lived in the building longer? So they give you a table over here. According to your conversions, there are 52 weeks in one year. So one year is 52 weeks. That means two years is two times 52, which equals 104. Three years would be times three, oops. Which means that's 156. 52 times three, oops, sorry. Times four, be 208. And then um, times five. Be 250, oops, no, 260. Wait, I messed up again. Uh, no, no, it's good, that's good. Sorry, brain fart, okay. So that means that Damien, we're comparing five years. Damien, five years compared to Ken, who was 20, 250 weeks. We turned this into weeks, that's 260 weeks. Oh geez, hang on, 260 weeks. To 250 weeks, Damien has lived there longer because um, it's just one more week longer. Oh, sorry. So, this guy's lived there longer because when you turn five years into weeks, you get 260 weeks, and that's bigger than 250. How many hours in a week? Um, pretty easy to figure this out. That's not a conversion that you see up here, but you use kind of the other conversions to help you out. So I know there's 24 hours in one day. So I know that one day equals 24 hours. So I know there are seven days in a week, so I'm gonna multiply by seven. So then I have seven days equals 24 times seven. which is um, 168 hours. Okay. So I'm on page 688 now. 
explain how you know that nine minutes is less than 600 seconds. So we have nine minutes equals 600 seconds. Turn that into seconds, so nine times 60, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. Um, oh, I gotta compare, I'm not equaling. I'm comparing. So nine times six is 54 with one zero. So that's 60, 540 seconds compared to 600 seconds. 540 is, oh, no, 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 no. Less than 600. So to explain that nine minutes is less than 600 seconds, you would change nine minutes to seconds, which is 540, and that is less than 600. Draw lines to match equivalent time intervals. Some intervals might not have a match. So this one I used a lot of process of elimination to figure out um, using what I know about conversions. So I've got um, one hour is, um, are they here? Oh, sorry. That's just my husband. Say hi to Mr. Spears. He's also working from home today. So. Hi. He came downstairs. Um, that's what I was talking to. Okay, so one hour is not the same thing as two days because, duh. Um, one hour is not the same thing as 120 minutes because there are 60 minutes in an one hour, so that's not it. One hour is not the same thing as four days. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, one hour compared to seconds. Uh, that could be, that could be, that could be. We'll come back to that one here in just a minute. And because I know it's not these three over here. Um, one hour is 300 minutes. That's not true. One hour, hour is um, 60 minutes. So that makes sense that this one is the only one that works. And if you sat there and figured out there are 60 minutes in an hour and um, 60 seconds per minute, that would be 300 or 3,600 seconds. So these two go together. Um, and then I've got two hours on here. So two hours is not the same thing as two days. It's not the same thing as four days. Um, this one's taken already. And 300 minutes. Well, that would be 60 plus 60, and that's 120. So that's not it either. So 120 is right there. Five hours, not the same thing as two days, not the same thing as four days because there are 24 hours in a day. These two are taken, so is that 300 minutes? Well, if we check it, it'd be 60 times five, because there'd be 60 minutes in each hour. Six times five is 30, with one extra zero would be 300. Um, 12 hours. Oh, ooh, okay, good. Direction said some intervals might not have a match, because only two that are left are two days and four days. Um, 12 hours is a half a day, actually. So this one does not have a match. And 48 hours is the same as two days, because one day is 24, 24 times two is 40, oh, 48, so these two go together. And this one does not have um, a match. So that was kind of fun. And your last couple of questions on this one. Uh, this is pretty cool because this talks about um, how, you know, some scientists, um, space scientists, use these conversions. Um, and we use them too because they help us measure our calendars. One day is the length of time it takes the Earth to make one complete rotation. Um, one year is the time it takes Earth to revolve around the sun. To make the calendar match Earth's orbit time, there are leap years. Leap years add one extra day to the year. A leap day, February 29th, which we just had one, by the way is added to the calendar every four years. So one year is the same thing as 365 days. And a leap year has 366 days. How many days are there in four years if the fourth year is a leap year? So um, make a table to help you. So one year is 365. Um, I'm not gonna do, all you'd have to do is 200, two times 365. I'm not gonna sit here and do all of those. 
um, just because I know you know how to work those out, so you don't need to sit here and watch me do that. Um, but at four years, because the question is asking about four years, that's 1,460 plus one extra day because um, of the leap day, the extra leap day that's added on. So there are 1,461 days in four years. All right, Parker was born on February 29th, 2008. The time, second time he is able to celebrate his actual birthday is in 2016. So if you think about it, the first time he can actually celebrate his birthday is in 2012 because he has to wait four more years for there to be another leap day. So 2008 plus four years is 2012. The second time he's able to do it is four more years. So that'd be 2012 plus two, four years, which is 2016. How many days old will he be on February 29th, 2016? So that's eight years later, technically, but it's only his second birthday, which is kind of funny. So we already figured out how many it would be for four years. So to figure out for eight years, we just have to double this one. So you can use addition or you can use um, multiplication, it's up to you. I'm gonna use multiplication so we can practice that a little bit because that's two leap year periods. So that's why I'm multiplying by two. Because again, this is four years, so times two would be eight years. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. So that'd be 2,922 days old on his second birthday. That's a crazy thing. I have a friend who's a leap year baby, and so she has this kind of birthday set up, which is kind of funny. All right, guys, that is it for this video because um, that comes you to the end of the section. Uh, here's your normal homework page, so go ahead and fill that out to practice some of these other conversions. Like I said, here's your conversions over here that you're going to need um, for that. I don't know if you have to do days in a year or not. Oh, yeah, well, maybe. If you do, then your conversions over here. Um, but if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks guys, have a great day.